Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Nikali boxing gloves, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to do a close-up weigh-in and review on the 16 ounce Nikali boxing training gloves in lace-up. Obviously I got these in blue. And Akali is previously known as Casanova Boxing, at least here in the United States. They went through this big uh, lawsuit against Pro Boxing Supplies uh, over the, the Casanova branded name. So uh, if you see Casanova products from Pro Boxing Supplies, those are not authentic Casanova uh, boxing gloves and are made in Pakistan. Uh, they do sell Casanova out of Mexico still that uses... The Casanova name in Mexico but here stateside this is now known as Nikali so just wanted to kind of clarify that before we go any further so you can see again this is a genuine 100% top green leather glove made in Mexico kind of give you as a close-up does have some weight to it I'm assuming these are gonna be over 16 ounces you have that Nikali tag right here on the back that says professional made in Mexico and that's really it. There's no, no other really design other design cues other than the tag on the back, uh, which is really nice. It actually feels kind of padded um, and has is a little bit thicker than your typical stitched on um, pad. So it's really nice that this feels a little bit more premium. 16 ounces, you do have white piping on the cuff and a soft canvas liner on the inside. White piping, nice long laces of medium grade, double stitching. White piping around the thumb. You can see the the craftsmanship on this is is pretty good, but could definitely be better. Um, not as good as Reyes, in my opinion, or even the Gill gloves. Still not bad, but there's areas where you can see the stitching could have definitely been done better, um, especially on these outside edges. Could have been done cleaner. The leather quality is really nice, nice and thick and supple. Uh, you do have a, a large size grip bar that's really firm. That's a really firm grip bar. You can see right here, you can't really sink your finger into it. So. Uh, that's definitely nice. You have a white attached thumb right there. And one thing I also noticed is that I started getting a little bit of wear mark uh, right there on the knuckle area on this glove. So you can start, see it start to fade a little bit uh, right there. But overall, a pretty solid glove. Um, definitely still has a little bit of a wider hand compartment for those of you that um, have smaller hands. You can see the single stitching on this crown part that goes over the white piping. And then right here as well, where the grip bar is at. And then the double stitching down the actual seam where the padding goes into. Padding wise, you have almost an inch of padding on the inside wrist. This padding goes all the way up to the thumb as well as on this side. And you can actually just see the stitch pattern. Could be cleaner, how it kind of comes up and over, especially on this glove, you can see it's a little crooked. So just a little details. Uh, with these gloves and in the back of the wrist has i'd say about mm, a quarter inch of padding so it's definitely a lot more padding on the inside wrist than on the back of the wrist i'm just kind of show you the fingertip compartment and there you have it so let's go ahead and put these on the scale see how much they weigh again these are advertised at 16 ounce i'd be really surprised if they were on weight but we shall see so these gloves are 17.6 ounces so they're definitely overweight um, by a little over than uh, over an ounce and a half uh, let's check out the left glove and the left glove is at 18.1 ounces so this one's even heavier so again like in true mexican tradition <laughs> the gloves are a lot heavier than what they're advertised but again a lot of you guys don't really uh, get you know, bothered by that, especially when it comes to training gloves. So I'm actually like the added weight just to get a little bit more conditioning in. So uh, completely subjective to you guys. Obviously they're not fight gloves and that would be a huge issue, but again, they are overweight. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here. And today I'm gonna be doing a review of these 16 ounce of lace up Nikali boxing gloves that I got in the blue color scheme. You can also get this in Velcro or hybrid. So hybrid meaning that it's both lace up and Velcro anywhere between eight to 20 ounces and several different color scheme, uh, including custom colors like 
uh, white, blue, black, red, yellow, and then that often uh, offer those split color schemes as well, where you might have like a blue with a split color of white. Now, Nicali is actually the same company as Casanova Boxing, also known as Deportes Casanova down in Mexico. Um, I did a review on some black and red hybrid gloves um, maybe about two years ago um, that you can see on, on this channel as well when the name of the company was still Casanova here stateside. And the reason they're called Nicali Boxing now is I believe they went through some legal, uh, legal dispute with Pro Boxing Supplies, which is a company that's based out of California, uh, on the Casanova name. So now Pro Boxing Supplies actually carries here stateside in the United States Casanova branded products which are not authentic Casanova. Those, those actual gloves are made in Pakistan and they just slap a Casanova logo on it. So it kind of impersonates it being a Mexican Casanova glove when it's not. So the true authentic Casanova boxing gloves here in the States as sold here in the United States would be under the Nicali label like you see here. Um, and, or if you're in Mexico or if you can get gloves from Mexico, it's still considered Deportes Casanova. Um, they just changed the name for legal reasons here in the state. So just wanted to kind of clarify that if you guys had any questions about that, um, just to kind of clarify that. Make sure you guys are getting an authentic made in Mexico product from the right people and not from a different seller that's selling um, not authentic gloves. So uh, there's that with this. So this is the original Casanova glove. And there's definitely a lot of similarities with the hybrid versions I did before, mainly in the way the hand compartment feels when you slide your hand in here. But Design-wise, you can see it's a very beautiful looking glove. 100% top green leather they use on here. No synthetics on here. And it's pretty simple looking. It has that all blue color scheme with the Nicali pads on the back that has kind of a padded feel to it. And like the Gill boxing gloves and some of the other gloves like Campion, uh, a lot of the Mexican uh, manufacturers like to put this, the actual logo this side facing towards the glove. So when you flip it, some people say it's backwards when you're looking at it, when you're wearing it, but that's just the way they typically do it. So you have the Nicali logo right here. Looks really good, nice feel to it. Uh, 16 ounce tag right there. You do have white piping around the cuff. And you can see the leather has kind of a nice satin finish to it. It's not matte and it's not super shiny. It's just kind of right there in the middle. And it has a real nice thick, consistent feel to it. Um, you can see the thumb here. Looks pretty good overall. You do have that white attached thumb and I'll go into the quality here in a second. The palm side, you don't have any ventilated holes. A really large grip bar that's really dense. You can see you can't really push down on it, so it's super hard right there. Some single stitching on the grip bar, single stitching right here up until where it connects to this lower portion that stitches in the actual padding. So that's something you would have liked to have seen was the stitching on that. White piping, nice long white laces right there. And then the inside, you can see it has almost an inch of padding along the inner part of the wrist right here that goes all the way up to right here on this side on the outside palm and then right up to the thumb where it meets with that white piping on the thumb side and the white piping down below maybe a quarter inch of padding on the back of the wrist it's kind of unusual typically you see more padding on the back of the wrist rather than on the front but you still get a nice snug feel and then the inside you have a soft canvas liner uh, on the inside that goes all the way up into the hand compartment and like a lot of traditional mexican style gloves the liner that they use you can feel all throughout the knuckle area. It has kind of more of a rougher feel to it when you slide in your hand in here, a little bit more rugged uh, feeling with these gloves. Now quality-wise, quality, lo uh, quality wise, the, the actual leather itself is nice, although I started seeing a little, little bit of wear over this knuckle area, you can see right there. And then you also saw this, and I didn't show the, to you guys earlier in the close-up video, but there's a little bit of a bump right here. And this glove uses latex foam. And you can see there's a little bit of a bump. I mean, it doesn't really bother me so much as it is just an aesthetic look to it, but you can see some, somewhat of a bump right there in this latex foam. And the stitching is another area of concern where you see like the, the attached thumb, the stitching kind of, kind of pulling out a little bit right here on the seam of the thumb where it meets the inside of the thumb. You can see the stitching could have been done better. And then just the overall shape of the stitching, like when they're using the sewing machine to stitch this on you can see it just looks crooked could have been done cleaner in my opinion and looks kind of crooked especially compared to the other one only single stitching you would have liked to have seen double stitching there as well um, so kind of crooked stitching and then again here on the outside uh, it just could have been done cleaner you know obviously this glove this glove is overweight like a lot of mexican style gloves so i won't really hold it against them just in the fact that they 
typically are all overweight, but again, that is, that is a con more than it is a pro. Um, you can see the inside liner actually looks really good. No exposed foam or latex on the inside. No, no, none of the liner is actually ripping. Uh, the back of the hinge point is done cleanly. The seam where the thumb meets the back of the hand looks really good. You know, stitching looks pretty decent right here on the, the edges of the wrist. Looks pretty clean. And I would say that this glove's a tad top heavy. It doesn't sag too much, but the, the reason for that is you have a lot of wrist support right here on the palm side of the wrist that prevents the, the glove from dropping. But you can definitely tell when you're holding it that a lot of the weight is towards the, the front of the glove. But um, because of those wrist support, which I think they did a really nice job with, it doesn't allow the, the glove to actually sag down. So you can see it's pretty well balanced, all things considered. And I like the fact that they put that added uh, padding right there to kind of counterbalance the weight towards the front um, of the glove. So I would say quality wise, the, the big thing would be kind of that that bump in the foam right there. The stitching could have been done better. And some of that fading of the, uh, the actual, um, the coloring, the dye that they use to, on this leather hide, you can start to see kind of wear off right there. So. Uh, little things that you see with this glove that could have definitely been done better in terms of the quality. Now the comforted glove sliding in your hand in here with hand wraps. Um, the first thing you notice, like the Casanova hybrids that I did, is the hand compartment is definitely wider. So there's a little bit of a gap, I feel, that kind of tapers down. Like I'm, I feel like my fist, when you make a fist and you look at it, the, your fist kind of slopes downwards towards the pinky when you make a fist. So when you rotate your hand either way you do it, you see there's kind of a slope. And what that does is when you put your hand on the inside of the glove, it feels good towards this area where the, your two front knuckles are at, but as your fist slopes down, the, the gap kind of gets bigger as it slopes down. So it starts off good and then it just kind of opens up. So it's almost like there's a little bit of a gap on the inside and that you can feel it even with your hand wraps on. Maybe a little bit better than the hybrids I did a review on a couple of years ago, but there's still that gap. And another critique I always make with a lot of these Mexican style gloves is that the inside foam is the exact same consistency as the outside foam. So that latex they use is pretty much the same latex you feel on the inside of the hand compartment. And they glue the liner, this soft canvas liner to the inside. So there's, there's not really much of a comfort factor in that regard. Like it feels really kind of rough against your, your knuckles, especially right here. It feels super rough. And it would be nice if they put maybe a softer padding to fill that void in and just to make it a little bit more form-fitting for your hands on the inside of the glove. The finger compartment is nice and deep. I can make a really nice fist with this. The glove is definitely stiff right off the bat. There's going to take some break-in period. You know, I've had these gloves probably for about a month now and I've had them in my rotation. They, and they still have a little bit more to go to actually break this in. And that's just because of how the latex is, the leather, and just the overall stiffness of the glove. So you can't really open your hands all the way just yet, although I will be the more I use these gloves. But a nice deep finger compartment, you can feel the stitching where it is right here. So again, you know, I don't really think they really care so much about the comfort or should I say like the luxury of comfort when it comes to these gloves, because then you can feel the stitching and so somewhat of the leather towards the fingertip compartment in here. So just little things you notice. And of course that comfort around the knuckle. The thumb feels okay. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable thumb. It's not super bad. I mean, the stitching here feels pretty good. The thumb feels pretty nice and parallel. The only thing I would say is that there's a lot of padding on the back, so it kind of pinches down towards the tip right here uh, with this thumb. So, you know, I feel the thumb is, is pretty pretty okay. I wouldn't say it's great. It's not terrible. Just kind of right there in the middle. Um, it could definitely improve, but my biggest critique is going to be kind of that gap between your pinky and your ring finger and the inside of the hand compartment and maybe the thumb a little bit, and just that seam on the fingertip compartment. Now, the protection and the performance of these gloves, these are a latex foam glove, and just to kind of show you guys the consistency of it, these have a little bit more of a medium to softer density with the latex foam, very reminiscent of Reyes gloves. Um, and I definitely feel like these are a little bit more on um, kind of a, I wouldn't say puncher side, but you can definitely feel the feedback more. So if you're looking for something that's very protective, that you really want to absorb the shock with. Um, I wouldn't say that these are the best gloves for that. These are great gloves if you really want to feel your punches come through on your knuckles, uh, with just how soft this latex foam is. So uh, keep that in mind if you have hand injuries, knuckle problems, and, you, and you're determined to get these gloves, you really want a pair, that's great. 
uh, just keep in mind you might feel the, the shot come through on the padding and you might have to wear like some knuckle guards or something just to kind of give you a little bit of extra padding on it but if you love that kind of feel if you want that mexican feel where you really land that punch and you can feel your knuckles come right through and then these would be definitely a good choice for you when it comes to that you get a nice good satisfying pop adding these gloves and again just me doing this with my hand i can already feel my knuckles just going like that so again definitely more on the feedback side than it is the protective side with this particular glove now cost wise these gloves are 139 dollars on up they also have a more luxurious version that comes with like welted seams which i think are 174 dollars uh, but $139 is, you know, right there, a pretty good price, all things considered. But considering I, you know, I just recently did a review on the Guild gloves, which in my mind are definitely better in terms of quality and just overall fit and finish. And I believe are the same price as these, I would definitely go with the Gills. And it's not to say that these are bad gloves. I just feel like for what you pay for, like the stitching could be done better. Um... You know, are they on par with the Reyes when it comes to quality? No, I think these have a little ways to go in terms of getting the stitching done better um, and just the overall fit. And I think these would definitely be up there, but I think the big thing that takes away from these gloves being great is the small flaws with the stitching, the little details with the finger compartment being a little bit more comfortable, the thumb having a little bit too much padding, and just the overall break-in period taking a really long time. Price isn't bad at $139 considering it is a made in Mexico, kind of a custom feel glove. Um, but there's so many other competitors out there now that make a similar glove with a similar quality around the same price point. It's really hard for me to recommend this glove over something like Gill or even Reyes because I would rather just pay the extra 30 to 40 bucks for Reyes and just get a, a better quality glove uh, when it comes down to it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Nikali boxing gloves. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.